hey guys now we'll see the folder structure of next year so that's pretty much easy so let me just make it a little bigger so this is dot next so folder so this folder is basically when you uh build your production app like uh, npm run build or next run build or whatever when you build the app so then this folder is created okay you don't have to basically touch this folder whatever it is it's done by the node.js and next.js only so you don't have to touch anything in this dot next folder okay then comes the node modules folder so that's very basic when you install any libraries then that comes up okay we'll go to pages afterwards then we have public folder so previously in public folder we have uh, in react index.html and all that stuff but here we don't have that many stuff okay here we just have a public folder just for sharing files okay or the i mean the images and all okay so we can put everything here then we have styles then the first style is global.css so as the name suggests we can just uh, do the global css like the, all the text color should be black on all the pages so that can be done with global.css then we have home.module.css so next.js supports module css so basically what is home.module.css so basically home is the page name then dot module.css so basically every page has its own css so in here we can make every page its own css so suppose we have about css so we can make about dot module dot css okay then we have e eslint uh, rc.json so it's just basically to show errors and all if you are writing code just to make your code uh, much more effective nothing much then dot git ignore so it's for already you know from uh, ignoring the files from pushing it to github so you can see here we have uh, taken the dot next also because that is also not required to be uh, shared it just when you build the app or run the app it will just be created okay and the build folder also and uh, yeah node modules folder also then we have next.js configuration you can um, uh, do a lot of next.js configuration suppose here our uh, strict mode is enabled it is enabled okay then we have package.json here we just tell the dependencies we have installed next react react dom then script if you do next step development world will open the next start then next build next lint okay then read me obviously the readme file then yarn.log is basically package the uh, log.json it's nothing different okay now we'll go to the pages folder so here we have api so api folder is basically for creating api on the server side so it's nothing if you are building something in the front end any app in next year so you don't have to require api you can just read also it is not required at all then we have index.js you already know this folder is the entry point of your uh, website so whenever you open the domain name or the base url this page will be served okay then we have underscore app.js so this is the main entry point of your file so in the you know react the entry point was index.html okay from index.html only all the files uh, and like pages will be served but here underscore app.js is the main uh, what do you call entry point okay after you start from uh, you do just like uh, next start it will come to underscore app.js only now here we are uh, uh, taking props as a component and page props then returning back this is also a component then you will be like how am i seeing this page when there is nowhere return okay return this index dot page or anything like that so basically what happened we are receiving this component page props and returning components so this is these pages only so this underscore app.js will receive this index.js folder uh, file app uh, about.js file so these files we received in this your app component only and it will be returned nothing rocket science very simple nothing much and this is also a component and here you can see there is a uh, global css so if you import global css here only it will be effective in each and every pages now suppose uh, this is running the index.js if i delete this file it won't run anymore because index is the main file is the main opening file see 404 this page could not be found now if i uh, go to pages 
and bold index dot js and here i can just do rfce uh, i can say index page okay see we got the index page so this is how it works okay guys so in the next part i'll show you how to uh, do file ba file based routing or basically how to create pages go to slash about page slash uh, contact us page every page how to build in next js so that's it in this part guys